Lab studies bioelectronic devices. Bioelectronics are electronic devices that we use to interface with biology on some level, be that a single cell to tissue to the whole body. Bioelectronic devices don't often last very long in biological environments, and they also don't promote beneficial cell and tissue responses in the vicinity of the device. So my lab, we think about how we can design materials and how we can leverage advances in manufacturing, like additive manufacturing, to address these challenges. Bioelectronics, just like many research areas in biomedical engineering, is very multidisciplinary. We have to think about how the device influences the biology, and we have to think about that on cellular and tissue scales. We also have to consider the reverse. How does the biological environment influence the device? I think this holistic way of thinking is really beneficial to the field of bioelectronics. And it's something that my lab aims to practice. And as biomedical engineers, we're trained to do just that. We are trained to tackle problems that arise from multiple engineering disciplines. Graduate school is a really big commitment. It's a really long time to be spending on a singular thing. And for me, my most favorite thing about mentoring graduate students is to watch them during this time, to help them on this journey and just to see how they change because there's a transformation that happens. You, you see them when they come in um, as a student and you see how much they learn with time and how they ultimately transform into an independent scientist when they graduate. My advice to graduate students would be to take advantage of everything that your institution has to offer you. So this can be campus-wide resources, this can be things available from your department, and also things available within your lab. You're in this unique position where one of your biggest purposes in graduate school is to learn. So this can be things like professional development courses, other trainings and workshops, Use the time to explore different career options and to learn about other disciplines by going to seminars and, and lectures. I also advise graduate students to get involved with their communities and to be active within them. What do I mean by communities? I mean your incoming graduate class. Get involved in your department. That network is gonna be with you for the rest of your career. But more importantly, this network is what's going to make graduate school so fun, and it's also going to help you be successful.